you seen anything like this before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Do you, so, um, what we're showing here is pigs in the animal agriculture industry, right? So each screen is a different thing, but specifically yes. this is pigs, and this is actually all from Canada. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, but it's the same, you have an accent. Where are you from? Uh, Australia. Yeah, so yeah. actually a lot of our footage is from Australia as well. There's really? a really big animal movement there. Um, so what they're showing, I think this is kind of exposing the transportation. Canada has some of the worst, Outboard. yeah. I mean, like, you know how cold it gets here, right? And yeah. we've all seen those trucks, they're just metal. So um, some of the pigs show up frozen, they're, yeah. And I've actually done like pig saves. Uh, it's where you stand outside of the slaughterhouse and you like watch the pigs as they come in. And the the extent to which they're packed in there is disgusting. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. And, like, it's a common knowledge, like, a pig's smarter than a dog, right? A pig, sm like, as smart as a three-year-old. And we just treat them like, like it's, like, a factory, right? It's factory farming. And we don't think about the individual on our plate when we, when we buy these things, right? So, um, in the factory farming situation, yeah, so this is them all crammed into a truck, and they can be in there for up to 36 hours in Canada. Like, that's regulation, that's fine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and like, when when we do these things, and when we have these operations like this, like, people become desensitized to the animals, and then they get yeah. frustrated, and they hit them, you know? It's just because it's like, it's, you, you become desensitized to crazy things really fast to deal with trauma, so, yeah. like, that's how people have to get through it all. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, here actually they're talking about a 40 below and they just froze and we had to use bars to get them off the decks. Like that's, so yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that's something we definitely didn't think about in Australia. Yeah. No, yeah. no. Like yeah. yeah. And it does happen. Like we have footage of that. Yeah. Have you guys heard of Dominion before? Mm -hmm. I think Dominion covers Australia. I think. It might be the UK, but I'm pretty sure it's Australia. And it's all things like this. And don't get me wrong. Like, I understand me telling you to watch, like, yeah. horrific footage for an it's hour and a half. It's not exciting. It's not, but, <laughs> like, jump at it. but you don't, like, connect what's on your plate, right? Yeah. So, like, do you guys, like, I'm not, like, saying this is, like, a thing, but, like, do you eat meat and dairy and everything, yeah. right? And have you ever thought not about, right? Thing. They make it so easy, yeah. right? Yeah. And, like, you know, like, veganism's a growing movement, but this is why, right? Like, there's a driving force behind it. It's not just trendy. Like, we're fighting for these animals to right. not be yeah. exploited. We think about it and like I get so much, I get like, but bacon though. And it's like, you know, 15 minutes of sensory pleasure doesn't like Equate justify. Yeah, how do you justify killing an animal? Like, yeah. do you guys think that you could kill kill not, an animal? Not myself. Right? Never. Right? But Never. we pay people to do it, right? Every time we eat, we paid someone to kill that animal for us because we didn't want that blood on our hands. But I mean, it's still on our hands, right? Yeah. 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 What other animals? So. Uh, each screen is a different one. Uh, here is dairy, which is crazy because people really don't think about the dairy industry too much, right? So I don't know if you're familiar, but with dairy, like, do you know why cows give milk? Oh my God, it's like yeah. kids, right? Exactly. We impregnate them yeah. over and over again. And then if it's a male, males don't give milk, right? So then they get turned into veal. Mm -hmm. So what happens is they'll go to the exact same slaughterhouse and they'll get stunned, they'll have their throat slit, and then we'll just cut them up and sell them as veal. And this is showing goats. So people think goat's milk is so much better, right? But it's, it's they do the exact, they do the exact same thing. It's no different. Like this is how it's, it's in everything. And there's a reason because we do things like this and we operate on this scale because that's the only way to keep up with it, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh my yeah. And this might actually even be from Australia. Don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, like a I know. No, but uh, it's here too, right? Yeah. It's everywhere. Like it's absolutely everywhere. Every single country has factory farming. Like there's no, in the end, there's no way to do it like humanely. Like, do you think that there's like a humane way to, to kill animal. something? Right? Like it's it's even crazy that we use the word humane. Like think about what that means. Like it means to show like compassion and kindness like how do you do that when killing something that doesn't want to die so this is really sad when cows give birth even if it's like out in a grassy field they take their babies away because we want their milk right so they get separated and the cows are very like 
they're bred to not be motherly anymore because it makes it problematic for them. But if you see beef cattle, they're always with their babies because it's fine for them. So they try to they try to breed it out of them, but it's not it's innate, right? So she's chasing her baby because they're taking her baby away. Yeah. And cows are so sweet. Like they, like we never get the opportunity to meet a cow, but they are incredible animals. And we just treat them like it's like, you know, like they're just nothing. Like they're just like expendable. We kill millions of them in Canada, right? It's crazy when you think about it. Um, and the last screen here I'm gonna show you guys is eggs. Yeah, yeah. So I've been vegan for three years this month, actually. And honestly, like, I, I say this every time, and I feel like sometimes I'm like a broken record, but I've never loved food more. Like, I've never cooked more in my life. I've never loved food more. I've never had more variety in my diet. Like, it is a switch, though, right? It's a huge switch because we eat so much of this. <laughs> it's actually, like, mind-blowing just trying to, like, think of, like, what I used to eat and how different it is. But, like, I, it's not, a, it's not, it's not like you're missing anything when you do it, right? So um, what we're advocating for is for people to go vegan because in the end, the only reason why these industries exist is because we fund them. So we have to drive the change in the market all across the world, in Australia, in Canada, UK, everywhere. So um, I have resources if you guys want to try to go vegan. Um, you can do a 22 day challenge. So um, what happens is at the very bottom there, it says vegan 22. Um, are you interested? Do you guys want to try it? And then you can do it all together and it's easier, right? So um, there's a bunch of resources on here. Vegan 22, basically you get someone that mentors you for 22 days and you get recipes. So that way you're not like left, I don't, you don't just leave here and you're like, what now, right? Um, and in this farmer's market, I don't know if you guys are planning on going in there, but there's even actually vegan cheese in this. Yeah, right? Right? It's, it's crazy and like what cashews can do. Like we don't need to like exploit animals to do it, right? Um, so if you sign up there, the whole concept behind it is it takes 21 days to break a habit. Yeah. So then they give you that extra one to really push you into <laughs> it, right? And actually one of our outreachers here started veganism by using this as a resource. So it's a really good one. But there's other things on here that I think it it's important to keep yourself knowledgeable because the only reason I can do things like this and talk to people about it and understand is because I, I like, right? I had to research like crazy and it's sad and you get angry and then you get sad and then you get like <laughs> preachy and you go through all these things. But um, the best speech you will ever hear is a really great, like it just like, it really like puts a lot of things in perspective for you. He has really great arguments that I suggest you watch. Uh, what the Health is on Netflix and Cowspiracy is also on Netflix. What the Health is about the healthy aspects of it, which is immense. Like you, like it's crazy that not only do we not want to do this because it upsets us, but it's actually good for you to be vegan. So it's like, and then Cowspiracy is about the environmental impacts and it's actually amazing for the environment to go vegan. So it's like, why aren't we all vegan? <laughs> I have to stand on the streets and talk about it, yeah. right? And like they're going crazy because they're in this cage all day, right? Yeah. Like they're separated, like this is their day, is in a hutch because we take them away from their mothers, right? Like you could still see the dried up umbilical cord there, right? Yeah. This is like how large of a scale it is. Yeah. It's crazy, we like, it's crazy, like I, I wish that you guys could see the egg one as well just because it's so insane in eggs they just put baby chicks that are male in grinders and grind them up alive because they don't make eggs so exactly so when you see like chicken meal on a dog food that's what it is it's ground up baby chicks yeah yeah I know it's just things you don't even think about like that right and I'm like oh my god I'm never having that again I know and please don't because I mean like we just we don't think about it and it's so important to make the connection because in the end there's no way to justify it even if you go in here and you'll see like oh like uh, local eggs or whatever like local first of all doesn't mean anything you could have this happening in your backyard what does local mean um, second of all all those eggs still come from a hatchery which is where they do that sorting which is where so like on a map
mass scale, it's still happening some way. And then once those eggs, once those chickens stop laying eggs, they're killed because they aren't useful anymore, right? So, and it's crazy, like most of us have never had an opportunity to meet these animals. And I now volunteer at a farm sanctuary and I can tell you like, a turkey is the nicest animal I've ever met. <laughs> it blew my mind because birds are so different than like, you, you know, you see a cow, you see a pig, and you see a mammal, and you see like a connection, but like a turkey, they popped up on my lap and wanted cuddles and let me kiss them. Like it was incredible. Like they're amazing animals and we kill millions and billions of them, right? Like in Canada, if you look it up, I think 25 million egg laying hens a year and that's just egg laying hens. Then there's actual chickens, which is like probably, I don't know what the numbers are because it's like so immense and crazy, but it is. And it's the same thing, look up. So, okay. Dominion will give you stats on Australia and it'll give you stats on Canada, how many are killed each day. And then it goes through every animal. So it also talks about like um, entertainment, like zoos and stuff like that. It talks about medical research, which seems overwhelming, but like it's overwhelming how much we exploit animals every single day and we don't even give it a second thought, right? So I really suggest you guys like get some Kleenex boxes, <laughs> go buy some lentils and like watch all of this and like really see what's happening and what we like it's kind of frustrating because we're like lied to also right like we get sold like these like beautiful images of happy pigs and like they're giving their lives to us like that's not at all what's happening right yeah thank you for this yes yeah I hope you do and try the 22G challenge you guys think you'll try it just like do it as a group yeah okay awesome thank you so much for talking to me guys okay Thank <laughs> you.